hey guys welcome back to another video and i say this every single time it's been a long time but <laughs> oh gee what have i been up to um really i've been kind of doing a lot of tiktok videos i've been finding it really fun over on that app so if you are on there and you want to see more content from me i'm probably creating the most stuff on there right now um yeah, but uh, basically you can find me anywhere at summer.stockwell, so that is where my TikTok is at, if you are interested. If not, and you only like watch my videos here, then that is okay as well. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you, or kind of just talking, I guess, about my favorite products um, throughout this year, and kind of products that I always repurchase, and things that I just really love, um, to kind of give you guys some feedback, and maybe you're wanting one of these items and you haven't got it and you're just kind of wondering if it's good or if it's not good. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, so the first product that I absolutely love is my face wash. This is the Bioderma. It's the sensitive mild cleansing foam gel to remove makeup and just to remove any type of product on your face. This also comes in a blue gel and a blue bottle. They're both the same. So I kind of switch it up depending what is on sale. So that is my first product that I loved this year. The next product, this is a new one. So the face wash, I've been using that for a few years. That's just something I wanted to include. But this product here, this is new for this year that I tried. Uh, the brand it's called Volition, I think that's what it's called. This was sent to me. I didn't purchase this. This is the um, Strawberry Sea Serum, but I am almost done. There's just a little bit left in this bottle and I most likely will repurchase this. I didn't even know this brand existed until it was sent to me. And then I kind of looked it up and I um, actually got another item that was sent to me as well. And yeah, I will most likely repurchase this. It's helped my skin. It makes your skin really smooth. It's not oily, nothing like that. And it comes in a little dropper just like this. So this I find to be a nice alternative to this. Actually, I purchased this year as well. It was called Skin SkinCeuticals, but it was super, super expensive. Um, it's a vitamin C. It's supposed to be like an antioxidant treatment. An antioxidant? Yeah, antioxidant treatment, um, a vitamin C, but this was so expensive. Um, this is a, a strawberry C serum. It's supposed to have more vitamin C actually in it and it's cheaper. So this I would repurchase. This one, definitely not. I find these to be way too expensive and you can get a better result with something a little bit cheaper. So the next oil, this, I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase this just yet because I like the vitamin or the strawberry C better, um, but this was new to this year and this is called Honest Beauty by Jessica Alba. I got this off Amazon for, I think it was about $25, and it's an organic beauty facial oil. Um, it says with a blend of eight fruit and seed oils. This was actually really good too. It was pretty oily on the skin, but I use this every night before I go to bed. It did last a while, and I do like that it was all organic and all natural um, products, and it was made in Los Angeles. So actually this, yeah, I might end up repurchasing this as well, but this was a really good item if you need some type of facial oil or something that you wanna mix your foundation with. This was a really good one, and it was inexpensive. Next item here that is empty that I used this year, this was the Bioderma. It's a face, a light moisturizing cream. I'll show you in a moment. I have a new cream that I use, but this one is a little bit cheaper. I think it's about $20 and you can get it just at like um, a shoppers or some kind of drug mart, drug superstore, drug mart. I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this was a good one, a good, um, a little handy cream that I used up this year. Okay, so the next favorite of this year is definitely my foundation. This is the Revlon Coverstay Foundation. This one is all done. I repurchased two more of these within the time that I used this. It does take me quite a while to use this product, um, but I find this to be the best for my skin. I have it on right now. It's very smooth. It doesn't seem too cakey, at least for me. Um, you can definitely build it up and you can kind of shear it down a little bit. So I love that as well. It has a matte finish and it doesn't make me oily. This is a very inexpensive product as well. I've always talked about this one. I think actually I just made a video on it about the best foundation. So it was this one here. <laughs> just coming right into this window. I've been still dealing with lighting. My lighting is always, it's always been crap. I've never had the best lighting. I have a ring light and soft boxes, but the room is just not well lit. There's like only one light in the room. So when I turn everything on, it's just not good. But ooh, look at that highlight. So the next item I want to talk about, which I have repurchased, I think maybe three times now. It's not a beauty product, but it is a very good product. It is Crest 
um, toothpaste. <laughs> this is the best toothpaste I've come across. I've tried many, many different toothpastes. This one here, it's the Crest Gum Detoxifying, and there's different types. This one is the Extra Fresh. Um, there's like a Deep Clean, a Whitening, and a Sensitive. I've tried the Deep Clean, and I went right back to the Extra Fresh. This one, honestly, it keeps my breath so fresh throughout the day. Um, nothing is gross, like, throw my mouth. You know what I mean? It just feels so fresh throughout the whole day long. Okay, and the last final item that I want to talk about, this I've already restocked like, I don't know, four times. As you can see, I have two empties here. This is the Vici, I, it's called Ideala moisturizer and I use it in the morning and at bedtime. Um, my skin is very sensitive, so it's great for that. It doesn't do anything to my skin. It hasn't broken me out, nothing like that. It's very smooth on the skin and it's supposed to be for the first signs of aging. So um, I feel like as I'm getting a little bit older, you know, I wanna get products that have a little bit of something to do with aging in it, just so my skin does still stay as fresh as possible. <laughs> so these are it here. These ones are really great. So that is it guys. I hope you guys had a nice Christmas and I hope you have a nice and safe new year. And hopefully I'll have some more videos up in the new year. I am gonna be very busy with work in the new year. Um, so we'll see how things go, but obviously I'll try my best on the weekends. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video and it's always nice just sitting down and be able to chat. And that is it guys. So thanks again for watching. Thanks again for bearing with me and always supporting me. I do really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.